about 6.30 ish a.m. and it's pouring rain and it's so lovely and I'm about to go to my source style yoga which I've been doing and it feels so good. I can't film in the shala but it's pretty much just been giving me life every single day to practice the primary series with a bunch of other people and show up no matter how I'm feeling. I just love the sound of the rain when I'm in bed. It's so nice. I'm very content right now. I got some groceries which I'm very excited for. I've been trying to make new recipes every single week. So I'm excited. I have a call with my accountant. If you're able to, and then in the meantime, our team will actually um, elect your company. When I'm in a death cycle, the first thing I want to do is isolate and cocoon myself until I feel like the brightest, happiest version of me again. But I've learned to drop in with my sisters as a first response because I can't put anything past them emotionally. They just know how I'm feeling even if I don't say anything and it's actually really positive because the sooner you can address the feelings, the sooner that you can move through them. I started filming this video a while back when I was going Going through a season of shadow work and dealing with some heavy family things, when I go through long seasons of confronting limiting belief systems or am feeling more fear in my body, I call them death cycles. They are a real call to action to use all the tools in my metaphorical tool belt and I do a lot of opposite action to set myself up for lightness even if I'm feeling down. So instead of isolating, phoning a friend immediately, instead of being really hard on myself, taking extra time to be kind. I spend more time doing expectationless, cathartic things, eating comforting snacks, and being vulnerable with people that I love. So I share a bit of that in this video, as well as some integration from after sitting with the medicine. My go-to snacks lately, sprouted sunflower seeds, and this is completely dark, 100% dark chocolate. And then I put it inside of a date with almond butter so good you got sweets you got healthy fats in there i know this almond butter isn't the best but my friend gave it to me when i moved it has palm oil which is not the vibe but i'm gonna use it because i have it piece of chocolate inside the date oh so good I'm also doing a yeast cleanse right now, which feels really good. It's kind of random, but anytime that I notice that I'm getting bloated more frequently for no reason, I feel and I know that something in my gut microbiome isn't doing that good. And when I was raw till four, which I do not recommend for everyone, I just was eating so much sugar and I developed an overgrowth of candida. So it got to the point where I would eat a nibble of bread or one blueberry and my stomach was so tight, painful and bloated. And I went to a vegan nutritionist who brought this to my awareness, the whole candida thing. I started taking probiotics on the daily and started eating a regular amount of fruit, just one serving a day. And my bloating completely went away so this is the first time that i felt that come up again i started taking this yeast cleanse and i'm already feeling like all the symptoms are completely gone but i just take two pills in the morning and at night and then some of this tincture it's very very tame and chill but i also do parasite cleanses every now and then i do enemas i do routine maintenance with my physical body and it feels really good especially just doing a parasite cleanse because i walk around barefoot a lot i also did a mucoid plaque cleanse which was amazing and so once a year i really like to flush any of those toxins out of my body because i feel like things like parasites can genuinely just make you feel like energetically attacked so it's good to clear your vessel as much as possible from the inside and from the outside, what you're consuming, who you're spending time with, the media that you're absorbing. I 
wanted to share the sponsor of today's video, which is ThreadUp. They are an online thrift store with tons of brands that you know and maybe used to love, like Zara, H&M, Free People, Urban Outfitters, and you can buy these brands at a discounted rate and you're not directly supporting fast fashion, which is a way more eco-conscious choice to buy a garment that's already floating around on this earth plane and get more wear out of it. And they make it so easy to find exactly what you're looking for by being able to customize your sizes and add it to every search and search for specific garments that you're looking for. I've just saved so much time by shopping secondhand online and it's really hard for me to go back and spend hours in thrift stores just to find one piece. So I wanted to share a few pieces that I got from them recently. And the first one is this beautiful, I feel like this is my new ceremony dress. Anytime I go to intentional ceremony spaces, this is what I'm gonna be wearing. It's so flowy, light, and see-through. I love a little scantily clad moment, as you guys know. This is by the brand Gap and was originally around $49.99, but I got it on ThreadUp for $18.99. It's hard to tell, but this is a romper. It's one of my favorite kinds of garments because it's the most functional thing for me. I ride my bike everywhere, and so I love wearing an actual outfit rather than just workout or yoga clothes to run all my errands and rompers are the thing for me. I love also getting clothes in earthy tones that match everything else in my wardrobe so it's really easy to style with other pieces that I have and this is by the brand Free People. It was originally around $128 but I got it on ThreadUp for $41.99 and I love it. I have another dress from Free People. I love little mini dresses like this for frolicking especially if they're made out of a comfortable material and I love wrap around tassel -y things as well because you can really have fun with that and wrap them in different ways and it gives that same kind of Greek goddess energy, which I've been into apparently, but this is by the brand Free People. It was originally around $128, but I got it on ThreadUp for $41.99. Next, I got this skirt, which also has some of those similar red tones in it and a bunch of dragons. I feel like mini skirts are really fun and very easy to style. This one is by the brand Urban Outfitters. It was originally around $45.99, but I got it on ThreadUp for $18.99 and I've already worn it quite a few times. I got this bikini top and and I love adjustable bikini tops because you can wear them in different ways and just completely customize them to fit your body. And this one is by the brand Airy. It was originally around $24.99, but I got it on ThreadUp for $18.99. And I also love wearing bikini tops as actual tops throughout the day when I'm just out in nature and things like that. So this one's really cute. I just adore ThreadUp. I've been shopping with them for years of my life. And if you would like to get $10 off orders of $50 or more and free shipping on your first order then you can click the link in my description box use my code hitomi and find some actually wearable pieces for your wardrobe that are easy to style with everything and that also help you feel embodied in the energy that you want to bring into the world i'm gonna finish the painting that i started at i show's house and this is basically my world of safety my refuge that i enter into sometimes in meditation and I just wanted to draw it and that could be a fun painting prompt for you if you feel like painting it's really <laughs> I feel like painting is really out of my comfort zone because I'm not good at it and my mind wants to control the situation and learn techniques and make sure it's gonna come out good but then my heart is like let's just see what happens so it's really cathartic to release expectation and do something because it brings you into the present moment Green eyes, yeah, the spotlight shines upon you. How could anybody deny you? One of my favorite things to do when I'm in a death cycle is to just kind of plan my life and I just will scroll through Pinterest and play indie music that's super freaking melancholy and look at images that make me happy. They never really make me feel like I'm missing out. They just make me feel like, wow, life is a cool thing. I feel like going to yoga every day has just been such a good anchor for me and I always talk about routines. I've actually started to film my daily practice less because it can feel invasive and I feel like you guys get 
the gist of having a sadhana or a disciplined spiritual practice, just how it sets you up on a day-to-day -day basis by establishing you in your higher consciousness perspective or in that pure source energy. Um, it's just so, it's such an anchor point so that there's spaciousness around the rest of your thoughts and actions throughout the day so that there's more space between your reaction and your response. Maybe you can choose love instead of fear. Um, I mean, that's really what helped end my anxiety, depression, life ending thoughts is by having a consistent spiritual practice and not reacting to the heaviness that my mind would create or that my mind was so programmed with. And I really appreciate that aspect of healing that I don't have to actually get too lost in my emotions or my sadness at all. And of course there's nothing wrong with those feelings and I definitely get them, but it's not as intense. It's not as dramatic and scary. And I'm just so grateful for that. Hello, I look a little crazy right now. I have a Yuzu clay mask on. I haven't done a face mask in a while, but I'm doing a cleansing day of my space. Some of the clips from this video are from before I sat with the medicine and some are from after. This is after part of my integration. It feels like I really need to get rid of any physical clutter and energetic weight that isn't serving me. So I'm going to go through my dresser, my closet, my skincare products and just clean and cleanse everything in my life. It feels so incredible to cleanse internally purify the physical body and then also externally i do feel like objects create energetic just weight so i'm excited to clean everything out i want to just only have things that i use and also make me feel really embodied one of my favorite drinks lately has been coconut water with a very generous squeeze of lime. I'm not wearing pants right now. I feel like that's an essential part of a cleansing day. Just no pants, a good little drink, some good tunes. And lastly, a little infusion of Damiana and rose hips. This is a tincture that my friend made. So I'll link her Instagram below. So delicious, so nourishing. It's just like cool and refreshing. Cheers. I never show this part of my bathroom because it's so not cute and so cluttered. I think that I just need a new storage solution to be honest, but I haven't invested like any money in making this space look nice or decor it up because I'm moving again soon and it doesn't really matter to me that much. I just need a place to rest my head at night, but it's nice to have a good vibe. You know, it's nice to have an organized home where you can put things away and they don't just pile up so i'll maybe get some containers but i think i just have so many damn products and i do get sent things so they just kind of build up and sometimes i don't even open them i give a lot of things to my friends or to this service that provides products to homeless shelters i was really excited to make my own shampoo and I still will, but it just has been a minute since I actually pursued that and used the products that I got for it. I got pH testing strips to test the shampoo and stuff like that. I am excited about a reality where I'm making most of my own stuff, my own shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, deodorant. That's kind of like the goal. And we're starting off slow, but I have things that I'm going to put, including this aloe vera, into my own products.
share some journaling prompts for inner child healing. Journaling is like free therapy. I say this all the time. In what ways positive and negative has the density shaped who I am today? I really like this one because there's so much nuance in experiencing trauma. What aspects of myself am I constantly apologizing for that I don't have to? Also, you can write down exactly what your inner child needed to hear. Just like inviting prayer into those past memories or traumas that can come up, you can also take it to the next step and write down exactly what your inner child needed to hear and create your own mantras and archetypes of healing for your younger self or even writing about yourself from your higher self's perspective. Like how do your angels see you? How does the fully embodied version of yourself view you? It is so healing to write this because I think deep down we all know how worthy we are of love, how radiant we are, and we rarely rest in that knowing for longer than like 30 seconds because it feels scary and we feel so inadequate. And I think that all of that is an illusion. <laughs> um, how am I learning to feel safe in the world now? You can also write the most recent time that you felt genuinely safe and happy. It's really good to reflect on those moments so that you can keep recreating them. Do you have an answer, AC? Okay, so this is the, what we're proud of ourselves for overcoming this year. In their lives too, but we just didn't have a closeness like that. Mm. And I think that it was like, it, it's a strange relationship to navigate when you don't necessarily feel like connected necessarily with your parents, but you feel like a duty. Mm. Um, I don't know, I feel like in many ways, um, I Like stuff in your teeth. They're educating still. Yes. Oh, that's so true. Yeah. Let me know if you need more salt because there's garlic salt. I don't know how you feel about butter. Dude, you guys are amazing. I like literally can't even like gush about how amazing you are because it's just constantly happening. I'm like, oh my god. Like live stream. We just get each other. Yeah, it's true. Okay. Yeah. Setting up this new study cam that I invested in, I'm really excited because I think this will just take my videos to the next level and specifically this series that I'm starting to work on with Kanaka Maui, I just want it to be half my janky style of filming and half really cinematic and high quality and just... I need to watch a tutorial to set this up and this is my camera for anyone who's wondering I use the Sony FX3 from the cinema line and it's completely sold out on most websites a lot of people ask about that I just got a new microphone I'm not sure how much I like this yet I've only used it this past weekend while I was filming at this Loi patch and I think that it went really well but I'm still troubleshooting and testing it out. Mostly what I use are my Rode clip-on mics which are really effective and how I get really great sounding audio especially in nature for any video. My last Q&A video I was using my Rode clip-on mics and those are really convenient. I still feel very amateur. <laughs> But I really do enjoy learning about gear and about filming and color grading. It's just, you know, a slow process for me. And I like my semi-janky style of filming where not every single thought is shot out. Not every single shot is thought out and not everything is perfect all the time. I'm gonna sign off here. Thank you so much for being a part of these random moments from my past month and receiving me with so much love. Until I see you next, please take some deep belly breaths and honor all of your sacred no's and yeses. And don't forget if you would like some new secondhand pieces that you can get $10 off of your first order of $50 or more and free shipping on ThreadUp using my code Hitomi. Checking out the link in my description box. I cherish you and I'll see you in a video soon.
Bye.